Hello everyone, I'm Becky and welcome to my kitchen. I am so excited today because I get to make one of my favorite recipes. Basic ingredients, milk, uh, you'll need a half a loaf, half a loaf of French bread, any kind of French bread, just half the loaf. And um, eggs, sugar, butter, and pure vanilla extract. And also I'll be making a whiskey sauce to put on top of it, but I'll get into those ingredients later. It's simple as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. It all goes in the same bowl, very easy. So first ingredient, it's gonna take eight eggs. You wanna put eight eggs in your bowl and whisk them. Since I have so many eggs, I'm gonna to try to do it with one hand. See if I can still do that. Well, I'm showing off now. Yeah, no shells. And you can use a, mis a mixer if you like, but I'm just gonna do it by hand. So now I'm gonna add two cups of granulated sugar. It calls for five and a half cups of milk and I will be using whole milk. Um, I have done this with 2% milk, but it's best with whole milk, of course. So, but hey, if you wanna cut back on the calories and use 2% milk, feel free. Two. I could have this already measured out, but I like showing off my pretty measuring cups. In case you didn't notice. Four. Five. And a half. So now we got to mix that up. Just kind of mix it from the bottom there and that way it won't splatter. Let's get the eggs and the sugar mixture incorporated with the milk. Okay, so now you wanna add a teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna do that. One teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. This is so good. So, so good. Sometimes the simplest things are the most delicious. Okay, so this is the pan that I'm gonna be putting my bread pudding in. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just spray it with some pan. I've got my half a loaf of French bread here. And if you want, this is optional, you don't have to do this, but if you want, you can um, you can toast your bread before you put it in here. But uh, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But I, have, I haven't done it more than I have done it. And I mean, it's still delicious, so that's up to you. And I just break it apart just like that. It doesn't have to be, you know, particular, precise, none of that. You just break it apart and put it in there. And to tell you the truth, I really like, I really like the bigger chunks of bread. I like the look of that anyway. Once it bakes up, cause it kind of puffs up. I just like that look. So I just tear it apart like that and put it in there. And see this French bread is kind of, um, has kind of a coarser texture to it anyway. So that's why, you know, you don't necessarily have to toast it. So that's my bread in there. So now all you gotta do is take this mixture and just pour it over top of your bread. Simple as that. And this bakes up so beautifully. It is so good. Oh my. Sometimes I just take the whisk there and Make sure, make sure uh, the mixture gets, the, all the bread gets soaked. Like the tops of it sticking up there. Yes. 
There it is, there it is. Okay, so one more step before you stick it in the oven. I have, um, this is, well, it's a whole stick of butter is what it is. One whole stick of butter. And I'm gonna melt this and I'm gonna pour it over top of this. However, because I like to eat this a lot, like this makes such a big difference, but it'll make a little bit of difference. I only do half a stick of butter because, reason being is there's also butter in the whiskey sauce. So to make myself feel a little less, little less guilty, I only use a half a stick of butter to pour over top of this. <laughs> but um, anyway, the recipe does call for one stick and I will have the recipe in the description. I just figured out that you can put the recipes in the descriptions. I've made like 30 videos now and I think about 30 or close to it. And I didn't realize that I could put the recipe in the description box. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm a work in progress. So I'm gonna melt this and pour it, drizzle it over the top of this. So I'm gonna pour my melted butter over top of this. And for those of y'all that don't know, this is my biscuit cutter. I also use that for my biscuit cutter. It's a coffee cup with a broken handle. That's what I use. If you haven't seen my biscuit uh, video, take a look at that. Homemade buttermilk biscuits. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour that in there. And really, this is plenty of butter. This is plenty. I really don't think you need a whole stick because you'll get plenty of butter flavor. And it's so rich anyway with that whole milk. And then putting the whiskey sauce on top of that that has butter in it. Yeah, half a stick is plenty, as far as I'm concerned. Feel free to put some spices on it, to sprinkle some spices like cinnamon or nutmeg. It would, that would be good, it would. The recipe doesn't call for it, but hey, I'm, I think I might uh, grate a little bit of nutmeg on top of this. I think I'm gonna do that. Maybe. The recipe also calls for toasted pecans. For you to toast your pecans and sprinkle those on top. I never put, I have put pecans on it before, but my kids prefer it without pecans. And no pecans is fine with me as well. And that kind of cuts back on the calories, so. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to do my own little thing and, dri and uh, grate a little bit of nutmeg on top of this. Okay, so I got some fresh, fresh nutmeg. I used some of this in my buttermilk pie recipe. Made a video on that, check it out. Just gonna put a little bit on there. It smells so good. And this goes so good with like custard dishes. Just so fragrant. Oh, yum. I also think I'm going to put just a little bit of cinnamon on it. Okay, so I sprinkled just a little bit of cinnamon on there. I'm going to bake it in my oven on 350, a preheated oven at 350, for about an hour. So I want to show you what it looks like before I put it in the oven. So there it is, my bread pudding. It's about to go in the oven. And it will smell so good. My bread pudding has been baking for about 45 minutes. It's not all the way done. Uh, so I'm gonna leave it in there about 10 more minutes, but it is looking delicious. And it smells wonderful. So now I'm making the whiskey sauce recipe, and this is probably a lot different than any whiskey sauce you've seen before. So to that powdered sugar, I'm going to add my melted butter. So it just looks right like that, if you can see that. I'm just going to mix that up. Whenever you uh, add that powdered sugar in there, it's going to Pull down that warm butter a little bit because the sauce calls for two eggs. So, 
two eggs. She has two raw eggs. Now, I guess I, I guess I should do a disclaimer as to I can't guarantee that the alcohol. <coughs> Excuse me. I cannot guarantee that the alcohol is going to kill the salmonella in the eggs, but um, I've done this many times. It's never bothered me, but that is the idea. I'm assuming that the alcohol kills the bacteria in the raw eggs. So I'm going to go ahead and put my eggs in there, but it's really good. You would be surprised how good this is. When I first saw the recipe, I thought, huh? But, um, yeah, it's really good. So you get that good and mixed up. I'm going to do two tablespoons of this Jim Beam vanilla whiskey, which you can use any kind of whiskey you want. So, and you just put that right in there. And if you don't want to use any whiskey at all, you can use pure vanilla extract. I've done that before as well. So this is what the whiskey sauce looks like. See how nice and smooth that is? The eggs just smooth that out so good. It has such a good taste to it. So what you want to do now, my, my bread pudding is ready to come out of the oven. So I'm going to get it out of the oven. And as soon as I get it out, I'm going to pour this. On top of it. I may reserve some to the side uh, to use for individual servings, but um, I'm going to pour some of it directly on top of the hot bread pudding as it comes out of the oven. So check that out. Our bread pudding is nice and done. It's a little jiggly, but it's firm. It's still firm. You see how it's bubbling up? bubbling around the edges there. Look at how good that is. And it smells wonderful. So I'm gonna take my whiskey sauce and just drizzle that on top of my bread pudding. And it will just kind of soak down in there. I'm not gonna put all of it on here. And then that way, if you want some extra you'll have it. Okay, there it is. Look at that. Watch that steam. Now, does that not look delicious? <clears throat> what do you think, Jacob? I know you can't eat this, but looks pretty good, doesn't it? Not really. Okay. <laughs> if I told you it was vegan, would you think it looked good? Can you hold yeah. that, like, level? Probably. Okay. Yes. There it is. Now I get to taste this. Yum. I'm happy. Look at that. Does that not look delicious? I mean, really? <clears throat> Doesn't it? I think so. Ooh, it's hot. You know, I've even like, I would even eat this for breakfast. Like in the morning, get up, pop it in the microwave. Oh gosh, you talk about some good eating. It's hot. Comfort food at its finest. It's Sunday, it's cold out, it's dreary. Perfect. Wow, this is, this is good. And that sauce, I'm telling you, you need to try that sauce because you will be surprised how good that sauce is. And it's so easy. So, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, give me a subscribe. I forgot to mention that as always. And I hope you enjoyed this. I will be having more 
recipes out of my Lazarus cookbook. And I will put the recipe in the description so y'all will have the exact measurements of everything. But try to make this. You'll love it. Your, your family will love it. It's wonderful. So, until my next video. Bye-bye.